Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that short time of day we take a break and we talk just about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. And with me today is India Bristol, all the way from Arima, Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome, India. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Now, India has a special story to tell us. You are going to be amazed at her artwork. India, tell us how you got started and what your specialty is. So Bristol House Miniatures began with my love of art, architecture, and everything miniature. And I started this business last year, March, when in Trinidad and Tobago, we were shut in uh, because, of course, what's going on globally with the pandemic. Yes. Um, my business before this was in virtual administrative assistance, which I offered to clients both here and abroad, uh, okay. companies and individuals alike. And there really was nothing going wrong with it except to say that I was losing, you know, the drive to do it. Okay. It became monotonous and mundane and just too difficult. Um, so I decided to take the risk and put my art out there. And so I started working on the first piece, which was the Mama Beulah's house uh, from March last year. Yes. But I only went public with my work in December of, of 2020. Ooh, okay. Uh, thankfully, thankfully, it's been consistent in terms of commissions and in terms of sales. I'm grateful for that. Yes. Um, persons are very interested um, very excited about what I'm doing um, and I think it's a wonderful way to put Trinidad and Tobago on the map you know our culture and what we have here let's show it off right right so what we'll do now I would like to show the viewers some of the miniature houses that you've created so I'm going to just pull them up on the screen and maybe you can um, tell us the story behind each um each uh, sample that we look at. So this one, for instance, what is the story behind this creation? It's just beautiful. So this is Mama Beulah's house. And uh, this house is built using 100% birch craft plywood, which I don't, sadly, I don't get here. I have to order it in. Um, but this house was created, actually, it began as a scale model of an actual existing house, which is on Carlos Street in Port of State. Okay. Uh, the mistake I made was that I began building this using a photo I found online. And then when I did go down to see where the house is at, they've done serious renovations to okay. it. Okay. So, so this is a historical um, perspective yeah. then. And so I had to imagine the rest of it, um, but it it went well enough. Yeah. Um, so this house is built with uh, with uh, um, a lamp cord and a switch have installed, so that you can plug it in and it lights up from the inside. I also did it in such a way where there's a little trap door um, at the base of it. Yes. You can reach your hand under open that and you can literally change the light bulb if you need to. So it's not, it's not designed in a way where if the light goes, you know, that's it. You can't have that feature anymore. Right. Um, I, I did keep that in mind. And so, yeah, this is Mama Beulah's house. Um, it features the features of the yard. I wanted to, to, you know, give you that old time homely feel of going to your grandmother's house. Yes. You know, so, with the, the twin top concrete washed up at the back of the house. Oh. The, the barrel at the side of the house, the drum with the galvanized sheet that, you know, we catch water from the spout above. Okay. Uh, some. Yes. Uh, the little, the little um, uh, shoemaker's bench that sits on the porch with your Afro comb and your barber's mirror on the bench. Okay. These are so the anterior plant in the little paint. Yes, I see the anterior. <laughs> <laughs> these things I thought uh, would evoke that sense of of, um, of fondness for, you know, the, the times you would have had past when you'd be playing on those stairs. Who would have fallen on those stairs and, you know, you bust your knee, you scratch right, your elbow. Right, So a lot of nostalgia. <laughs> Let's look yeah. at another piece now. Um, 
I'm going to pull up some more of your work to show the viewers. This one, tell me um, how this work came about. Right, so Third World Famous um, is actually a Trinidadian artist who resides in the US. His brand, he uses uh, t-shirts uh, to show his art and his focus is on, um, you know, just cultural, cultural um, aspects of Trinidad and by extension, the Caribbean. Yes. And so he sent me an image with his business logo uh, on the back of a house, what's supposed to look like in the same, same old time gingerbread style house. And he asked me, you know, India, could we make this into 3D? Um, and so that's exactly what we did. We yes. had to imagine the other three walls because from the image, it was just the back of the house with his logo just below the window and uh, a clothing line strung between two, um, two banana trees. And on this clothing line, he put um, his items on there, his actual t-shirt design. So okay. I would have done with a commission like this, I would have done uh, preliminary drawings Yes. And I sent it to him for him to approve. Um, he approved those and I got to working on it. Okay. Um, and so that's how we so came this, up with Okay, so this is a clothing line that you mentioned. Top, right. With the t-shirts on the line. Yes, yeah, and so, so those are his designs. Uh, so those well famous. Yes, that's his, that's his business. And a lot um, of detail. I've seen banana trees. I'm seeing grass. Yes. So there's a lot of detail on this piece. Yes. Um, yeah, Jalousy, as they call it. <laughs> right, exactly. And so um, at the front of the house, you'll find your, you know, the red steps that are popular with houses here. Oh, okay, so over here, here, yes. House. And so you see the, the back door of the house, um, it's split in two which is another popular feature of how old houses here. Oh, yes, have yes. You have the bottom half and then the top. Right, okay. and then you have the little stairs at the bottom there. Right, and then galvanized um, hot tin roof. <laughs> like... Exactly. Right, and... Oh. Um, and this uh, one? This is actually in that same yard. Oh. So he, he really wanted a standby. A stand um, pipe. Which, of course, is another classic feature of any yard, the old yard, you could say, yes. in a traditional home. Right, so right. This stand, pipe, um, this stand pipe in particular took me uh, about five hours. <laughs> wow, do. so lots of uh, detail here. Yeah, even the shadow, we are seeing the shadow <laughs> on the uh, concrete base here. Beautiful oh, yeah. work, beautiful. Now show me some of the, the models you have with, with you here. And so far, so good. With the workshops that I started doing, uh, we've done one so far. We have another one that's been, the date's been reset for the end of May. Um, that's just in keeping with the COVID, pro COVID uh, or new COVID. And protocol. so the workshop, what is it, um, how to create the miniatures? Yes, so I do an introduction to miniature, to the miniature world. And we speak about um, things like scaling, miniature scaling, understanding miniature scale charts and how to use them. Um, also, dioramas, doll houses, and room boxes, shadow boxes, what are these things? Uh, paints, pigments, and colors, um, tools and machinery that you'll need. Uh, so it's just a, a very brief you know, introduction to the world of miniature art. Um, for anyone who may want to go in that direction, or perhaps, you know, you just, you just like craft, <laughs> so you want to have something fun to do. Okay, right, right, right. And um, did you ever paint in the past, you know, like um, do fine art or, or not? I have never, <laughs> and here's the funny thing, I like drawing. Yes. Uh, but for me, drawing is, you know, it's the hobby for me. Yes. It's yes. what I do just for fun, just to, just to um, relax, just a, a little uh, way of escape. Um, so that's, that's drawing to me. I like drawing in black and white. Yes. I've never been formally trained in art. 
um, I'm told my drawings are good <laughs> by persons who have been. Yes, yes. But, um, yeah, I, I have no formal art training myself. I am self-taught. Lovely. So I have a, a number of things still to learn, and I am learning them. So with um, the miniatures, um, how did you get started? Or how did you learn what to do? Well, I looked at a, a number of miniature um, artists who would post their videos to YouTube. Uh -huh. And I do follow a number of their channels. Yes, and yes. And what I found is that there really isn't any right or wrong way to do it. Yes. Um, and you can actually use uh, items that you have right around your home to create pretty stunning pieces. Okay. Um, what, I've, what I will say is important is you must pay attention to scaling. Um, it's amazing how the human eye works. You can look at a miniature art sculpture or look at a diorama and immediately you can tell something's off with one piece in there if it's not scaled properly. Right. I'll just say attention to detail. Is, yes, you must, you must pay attention to detail. And so there are certain things you just can't leave out or just skip over or just do halfway. Um, because it will affect the, the final product um, in a major way. Remember, it's a miniature item. Folks will notice the detail, and the details are what bring it to life. So, for example, um, the double stand unit that I did recently, Savvy's double stand, um, the, the floor or the ground outside, it's to look like those sort of cobblestones are uh, style that you see like on the Brian Lara Promenade and so on. Okay. Those, those, those red bricks. Those bricks were cut individually. Each piece is individually cut and then put back together. Yes. And then you create them to suit. So there's no there's no working around it. You right, just have to right, right. You just have to do that. Um, the this this unit right here. This is the, let me see how close I can bring this to you. Please. Yes. And this is Auntie Gail's dining set. Wow. And so you see the pillow, which everybody knows. Yes, here. a meal, um, a detail. Okay, and what do you have there, sorrel? It's, yeah, some, some, some sorrel on the table. And uh, each plate has, let me see how close I can bring this. Yes, each I see in the meal has, on the plate. Right. And so those rice grains, for example, I did those individually. And then oh I brought goodness. it back together and painted it. So you see, oh. it takes um, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, <laughs> and it so, takes a lot of time. So that piece, how long did it take to put together the dining set and the meals? This entire piece I yes. could do in one week. A week? Yes. Yes, a week. Oh I could God. probably do it in less time, but to be safe, one week. <laughs> yes. This piece um, was just to bring it home how it would feel to sit at your own dining table, your grandmother's dining table, your aunts and neighbors, a friend invited you over. You know, this is the, this is, um, this is especially, this one especially works well with folks who are in our diaspora. Because, yes. you know, you're living somewhere else. You may be missing this type of home cooked meal. Yes, you're, you're missing the food, you're missing your sorrel. <laughs> so it's good to have a miniature version of it. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> This, this is for three months. Yes, and let's see the other model. What, what do we have here? This one is Cousin Iris's kitchen. This one has glass walls. And oh. so on the outside, you see the... Um, the, the sink is a sink. Of, yes, hung outside of the window. Yes. Right? And then you've got, on the inside here, you've got your, your small kitchen table with yes. a chair. You've got your market bag with your bag. produce from, right and then right, you've got right. your quick stain under the table and, and a linoleum I, floor I haven't seen that yes. in years <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you know your your um kerosene uh your kerosene stove okay. at the back of the table right and right all these little these little things that would help uh anyone celebrate what it is to be Trini 
what yes. it's like to live in a training home, grow up in Trinidad and to be right, to be right. Thank you for that trip down memory lane. I'm remembering my grandmother's house as as you show me these miniatures. So India, tell the viewers how they can find you. How can they get to see more of your work and order that commission that they've been longing to get. <laughs> so we're, we're found on Instagram. Uh, you're looking for Bristol House Miniatures on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn as well. And we do have a website um, and I'll let you post those details with this video. Yes. Um, Bristol you can House even, Miniatures. House Miniatures. Or okay. you can even put my WhatsApp me at 780. That's 868-780-7723. Um, mm -hmm. And I try my very best to respond as, you know, almost immediately. Yes, to yes. she's very good at responding. I'll tell the viewers, <laughs> like yes, just a, a slight break and uh, she will respond. Well, thank you so much. That's all we have time for today, but I sincerely appreciate you being on Art Snack. And I hope people go to Bristol House Miniatures and on uh, Facebook, Instagram and website to check out your work. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. It was wonderful. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so and viewers, please tune in next time when we have another surprise guest for you. You can also find some of my artwork at jennylynjames.com backslash art and on Instagram and Facebook at art by Jenny Lynn James. Thanks again and bye-bye everybody. Bye.